Name? Okay, I'm Marvin Schachter. I'm a member of the State Executive Council of AARP California. Excellent. And why is it important for California voters to pass Propositions 1A through 1F on May 19th? The, it's really a crisis here in the state. We have a crisis as far as budgeting essential programs in the state of California because of the economic crisis that the whole country faces. But the legislature, with great difficulty, came forth with a program, not a perfect program, but a program that meets the essential needs of keeping alive the most important programs, the ones that are most important to seniors, to disabled people, uh, to the schools. And you know, seniors are as interested in the educational system because that's their grandchildren uh, whose schools are being threatened, whose teachers uh, may be fired. It's the grandparent who all very often is asked to subsidize the, the grandchild who's trying to make tuition payments at a college or, a, or a junior college. These are issues that are senior issues. So seniors are intimately concerned, intimately, intimately involved with all of the issues that are on the, on the program. It's not a perfect program, but it's a necessary, essential step until we are able to reach the kind of uh, tax reform and the top the kind of constitutional reform that will uh, give us the right to have a budget that a majority passes rather than allowing a tiny minority to interfere or make impossible um, a, a majority decision on the budget. What, what will happen to the, these, the uh, fiscal si situation on May 20th if these ballot measures don't pass? We'll be in chaos. Uh, the crisis that we're facing now will be that much worse. Uh, we would have more difficulty uh, in meeting the needs of the people of the state of California. Uh, we will be in a situation uh, that nobody has the answer to, and certainly voting no uh, doesn't give us an answer. It simply makes it more difficult to meet the problems that we're going to face in this coming period of time. We have an opportunity here uh, to pass a budget measure, all of these five measures together, that give us room to work room to discuss and develop programs that will meet the long-term needs of our state as far as developing a program and a tax structure that meets the needs of the people of California. Great. Th thank you, Marvin.